Hi guys. Oh, why is it doing that? That's really cool. How do I turn this off though? Making coffee just for one. Guys, I just moved into my first college apartment. So exciting. Technically, I lived in this room last semester, but it was decorated with all Pinterest stuff. So it didn't really feel like my own, but now I decorated it and I love it. And I want to show you guys this whole apartment. It's so sick and I can't wait for you to watch. So this is the front door where you walk in. These are some cute little succulents. And then this is our kitchen. So just a quick overview, hi Kenny, of the living room. I brought my record player and all of my records. This is the best mirror on planet Earth. I'm sure you've seen tons of mirror pics here. What we're planning on doing is taking down these records because they've been up here for like three years. So we're planning on doing a little gallery but all we have is this one sad little picture. So now we're gonna move on to my personal areas. So right off of the front door in the kitchen, there's this big mirror and this is my bathroom. So as you walk in, the first thing you see is Miss Audrey, which I love. I have some cute little pictures up. Towels are boring. I just have white and then one with dogs. The shower is pretty basic and I have a shelf with all of my shampoo, conditioner, just shower stuff. Now this is the part that excites me the most because I have a bath here so I got like so much stuff I'm gonna show you. So I got this cute container from Target. I just knew it had to go in my bathroom. It is so adorable. And then I got a 500 pack of bath bombs. Up on the counter, I have hand soap, my makeup, a speaker, a toothbrush, and a candle. I honestly really recommend getting a shower speaker. Just designate one because it improves your experience so much. Inside of this little cabinet is some extra makeup stuff, skincare, um, perfume, aloe, other boring stuff. And then these drawers are basically just like my nighttime stuff, moisturizer blah 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 whatever and this one down here is my hair drawer i have all of my hair stuff and then under here i'm sure is more boring stuff i forgot to show you guys but i also have this cute bath rack thingy i love it so that's kind of it for the bathroom i love this space it makes me happy i love pink clearly um, yeah. Next up is my bedroom, which is the first one off of the kitchen and everything. The primary colors I chose were sage green and some variation of pink. So I'll kind of just do this in order, starting with my bedside table. I actually painted this skateboard in another video when I was in Delray with Laura. Moving on, we just have a lamp, candles, family picture represent and then and here's just all my remotes some jewelry another speaker down here is just a big mess of sunglasses and watch bands and stuff moving on to the bed i got this comforter off etsy and the sheets and this flower pillow on amazon the thing i love about these sheets is that they're ruffled same thing with the matching pillows I have my projector up here because I watch movies all the time. And these photos I love, I got from Amazon. They are so perfect for this space. I got this Taurus blanket for my birthday, I think, from this place called Valfrey. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but they have all zodiac sign stuff. Those are just my emotional support stuffed animals. Up next over here, we have this mirror that was an investment for me, but I love it to death. 
it is probably the piece that brings the room together I think the most. And then fake plants because I'm not a good plant mom in any capacity. My jewelry, um, some cosmos, more plants. Moving on, we have my next to my desk little stacky thing. I struggled the most with setting up my desk because I just have so many weird little notebooks and knickknacks and stuff. So this is all kind of just like extra not very pretty stuff like tape, stuff I have to do, coupons, stickers, fun stuff like that. And then next I just have this huge pencil holder and picture Laura made for me. I love this part because it's all my books and movies. I just brought stuff that I knew I would want to read and watch from home. All of my Stephen King books. And then this evil eye from World Market, I think. This little hot sauce that Caitlin gave me. I love it. And my computer. I need a new case and a new computer, but that's besides the point. Okay, I also want to do a little what's in my backpack because I'm a freak for school supplies. So this is my backpack. It's from Urban. In this bottom pocket down here, look at these cute little flashcards. Like nothing in my major requires flashcards, but I had to get those. My wallet, I'm not going to show you that so you guys don't try and steal from me. I'm kidding. Inside here, I have little snacks because sometimes I pass out. My planner. My binder. Sometimes I feel like people make fun of me when I whip these out in class because it's like, this was probably made for a six-year-old, but I don't care. These notebooks go together. I had to get this. I feel like I don't need to explain myself. Then I have this fun lamp that I actually found on the side of the road. Someone was giving it away and I was like, this is so sick. Next up is my closet. This made me realize that I don't have as many clothes as I thought because I thought it was gonna be such a struggle to fit all my clothes. But I have like space, like it fits nicely, so I was proud of that. And then here's my gym bag, classic. So the door shuts right across from my bathroom and I have a mirror here and a mirror there. Alright guys, so I think that's my entire living space. I absolutely love it, I don't know about you, but um, I think it just complements me pretty well, the pink, the green, everything. Um, yeah, so I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Valentine's, who knows it might just last forever. We don't need 